DBT 102 is the fundamental of physics. In this syllabus, first we will start with the first chapter of measurement. In this chapter, we have to study physical quantities, fundamental and derived units, system of units, order of magnitude, then we will check the definition of length, mass, time, amount of substance, luminous intensity and then the last topic is the interconversion of units. Physical quantity. The quantities which can be quantified in terms of numbers are known as physical quantities. The example for the physical quantities may be mass, time, energy, volume and many more. To measure all these physical quantity, we require different tools which are given in the PPT such as scale, stopwatch, weighing balance and many more. Now to measure any physical quantity, we require certain type of unit. For example, if I want sugar, then I have to use the unit as kg. To determine the length, we should use the unit as meter. So, units are essential to convey the magnitude. Basically, the units are of two types, fundamental and derived units. Fundamental units Fundamental units are those units which does not depend on any other functions. They are also called as base units. Fundamental units are of seven types. First, length. It is measured in terms of meter. Mass is measured in terms of kilogram. Time is measured in second. Temperature is measured in Kelvin. Amount of substance is in mole. Luminous intensity is measured in candela. The electric current is always measured in ampere. So, the seven fundamental quantities are length, mass, time, temperature, amount of substance, luminous intensity and the electric current. So we will check one by one. First we will start with length. In physics we have to deal with different kind of atoms, planet as well as we should know the size of a galaxy. So first we will start with the smallest that is the atomic nucleus and it is nearly equal to 10 raised to minus 13 centimeter. The pore's first orbit, that is pore's, or we can say the hydrogen, for the hydrogen atom, the radius of the first orbit is given by 0.5 into 10 raised to minus 8 centimeter. If we compare this with an atom, then atom is about 10 raised to 5 times bigger than its nucleus. If we talk about the radius of an earth, it is nearly 6378 or we can say 6378 kilometer. If we want to give the power of 10, then it will be 6.378 into 10 raised to 8 centimeter. If we talk about the sun, then the radius of the sun is 7 into 10 raised to 10 centimeter. Mass. Mass is always expressed in, in terms of 1 twelfth the mass of a single atom of the most abundant carbon isotope that is denoted by 12C and 1 atomic mass unit that is 1 AMU is nothing but 1.67 into 10 raised to minus 27 kg. If we talk about the mass of an earth it is 5.972 into 10 raised to 24 kg. Amount of substance. The standard unit to measure the amount of substance is the mole. One mole is equal to Avogadro's number 
and it is given by 6.023 into 10 raised to 23. Luminous intensity. Luminous intensity is nothing but the quantity of visible light that is emitted in unit time per unit solid angle. Its SI unit is the candela and it is denoted by CD. Now we will move ahead with the derived unit. Derived unit as the name suggests it is derived with the help of fundamental quantity or with the help of fundamental unit we can find out the derived unit. For example we can say area. Area is depends on length. Length is a fundamental quantity. Volume again length cube. Speed distance upon time. Distance and time both are fundamental quantity whereas speed is a derived unit or a derived quantity. Its unit will be meter per second. If we talk about the acceleration which is a derived quantity and the unit is meter per second square since it depends on distance upon time square. Similarly you can go through force, energy, work, heat and we can find out electric charge with the help of fundamental units. Basically the system of units are divided into three parts that are MKS, CGS and FPS. MKS is meter, kg, second. CGS is centimeter, gram, second. FPS is foot, pound, second. If we take this three system for the fundamental and derived unit then if we talk about the length that is the fundamental quantity then in CGS we can write down the unit as centimeter. For MKS it is represented by meter. For FPS system it is given in terms of foot. Similarly for mass CGS unit is gram, MKS unit is kg or kilogram, FPS is pound. If we talk about the time then in CGS it is second, in MKS it is second and in FPS also it is second. Now we will move ahead with the derived quantity. One of them is force. For force the CGS unit is dyne, MKS unit is newton and in FPS it is pounder. So please go through work or energy and power. Now we will go ahead with the order of magnitude. Order of magnitude is nothing but the power of 10 and each power will have certain SI prefixes. Example we will start with 10 raised to 24 that is Yota. It is denoted by capital Y. Zeta is 10 raised to 21 capital Z. Exa is 10 raised to 18 capital E. Peta is 10 raised to 15 capital P. Tera 10 raised to 12 capital T. Giga 10 raised to 9 capital G. Mega is nothing but the power of 6 that is 10 raised to 6 and the symbol is capital M. Kilo is 10 raised to 3 K. Hecto is 10 raised to 2. Deca is 10. Deci is 10 raised to minus 1. Centi is 10 raised to minus 2. Milli is 10 raised to minus 3. Micro is 10 raised to minus 6. Nano is 10 raised to minus 9. Pico is 10 raised to minus 12. Femto is 10 raised to minus 15. Atto is 10 raised to minus 18. Zepto is 10 raised to 21. Whereas Yoto is 10 raised to 24. I want to tell you if the power of 10 is bigger than 3 then we should use capital symbol and if it is less than 3 then we should use small symbols. Now to find out the interconversion of units we should follow the following steps. First step what do you have? What you have in your problem? Then we should define what should we want? What do you want? Find out, identify the conversion factors. Then 
with the help of ratio or the linking units we can cancel the units where you can and do the maths thank you